Really big week in the markets with the election results. Almost a Brexit-like trade, and the question is, did Carl Icahn make a billion, make a fifty million dollar profit on this one day, on this one trade? And I'll show you the math behind that and what he did. Supposedly, the rumor has it that um, he went in and bet a billion dollars on the futures contracts. And if you search Carl Icahn, you can read this article about how he left the Trump party around 10. Um, I've heard it in other places as well. So you can look up Carl Icahn. He's a um, hedge fund manager, activist. Um, so take a look at this trade, the math behind it. Almost a Brexit-like trade. It, it rallied in the after hours initially when the results were as expected. And then as the perception of the results changed, the market sold off. And then around midnight, just like Brexit, it was limit down. And so Carl Icahn left the party uh, around 10, and I don't know where he bought, but he could have bought anywhere in here. Um, I guess here's a here's 10 o'clock, and so the market is in this range, and it's it rallied 100 points from that point. So I don't know if he bought it on the way down or if he bought it back on the way up, but conceivably he could conceivably have made. Fifty million dollars if you put in on a billion dollars of E-mini S&P. So how many contracts is one billion E-mini S&Ps? Now the futures, E-mini S&Ps are worth the contracts are pro worth approximately a hundred thousand dollars. And so if you want to trade a billion dollars, you take one billion dollars, nine zeros, and you divide it by one hundred thousand, and you get ten thousand E-mini S&Ps. That are trading, and since that's that's 50 50 points equals 10,000 e mini S and P's times 50 point 50 dollars per point times 100 points, you get 50 million dollars. And so nice days nice day work nice days work for 50 million to make 50 million dollars on a one billion dollar bet, which is roughly five percent, which is what the market actually moved and so whether he you know bought in whether he actually captured the full 100 points is is unknown but it would be very possible if he you know traded in that time frame that he he mentioned and the market you know actually had a you know 20 the low is 20 28 50 and the down volume you see is 75 54 11,850 so easily gotten off Easily gotten off 10,000 contracts at those lows, and the market traded as high as is nearly 2180. So you're talking about a 150 point range in a very short period of time, and so 50 million dollars is very, very, very possible to make if you have that kind of money. So let's take a look at the Brexit trade, and you'll see what the rationale was and why why it was a trade that I actually considered but did not take. Um, from a discretionary perspective, let's go back to 625. And you see the market rallied. This is this is for Brexit. The market initially rallied and then sold off. It's a much bigger bounces. That was a 40 point bounce right there. And so that was uh, not as smooth of a trend as the other night. But same, same thing around midnight, you, you get these um, limit limit down in the E-mini S&Ps, and the rally didn't come back as strong, so, but it would have been a, a potential trade to take, especially the short trade up here, uh, which is another another thought in my mind was to short it at 2150, um, which I didn't do, and that would have been a good trade as well, and so those were just discretionary ideas that I had that I wished I would have taken, and, um, but I didn't, so, those are the, um, that's the Brexit trade, that's the Carl Icahn trade um, on election day, and I wanted to share that with you.